This video is designed to be a guide. Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. While we always strive to provide accurate and detailed information, we can't guarantee that it will fix your TV's issues. Shop Jimmy is not responsible for any harm that you may cause to yourself or damage to your TV during the repair process. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Be sure to take all the proper safety precautions. In this video, we will show how to download a firmware update for your mainboard in a Sony TV from the Sony Support website. The firmware update should be done immediately after installing the board. In order to install the firmware update, go online and download the software from the Sony website. Then put the software onto a USB flash drive and then stick that USB flash drive into the TV. We will start by showing the process for obtaining the software, extracting it, and copying it to the USB flash drive. Connect the flash drive to a computer so that it can be formatted. Formatting the flash drive will erase everything that is currently on it. Format the drive as FAT32. Click the link in the description for directions on formatting in FAT32. Once the USB drive is ready, download the file. Go to esupport.sony.com. Click on the Drivers and Software button. Enter your TV model number and click Go. Scroll down and click on the Firmware tab. Click on the download button. On the next page, click download now. Read and accept the user agreement. After clicking on accept for the agreement, the download should automatically begin. After it begins, click the back button to go to the previous page. On this page, you can scroll down and read various information about updating the firmware. It is crucial that you read the important notes section on this page. Also, if you need further instructions, you can click on the links that are shown on this page. Once the file has completed downloading, go and find the zip file, extract the contents of the zip file per the instructions on the Sony page based on your operating system. Take the extracted folder and drag it onto the USB flash drive. In this video, we are using one of our test TVs. This test TV has a cracked screen, but we need to use it for the video. Please excuse the fact that the cracks might hide some letters or words from the words that are showing up on the TV screen. Completing the firmware update will not fix the cracked screen. After you have replaced the main board, you can insert the USB flash drive into the TV. 
Then go ahead and plug in the TV. Power on the TV using the remote or key controller. Be sure the TV has powered on so the update will automatically take place. After you have installed the replacement main board, if you have the symptom of a blinking amber slash green light on the front of your TV, this means the firmware needs to be updated. If you do not have an amber green light blinking on your TV set after you replace the main board, you can still try and update the firmware to be sure it has the current update installed. Insert the USB flash drive into the TV. Plug in the TV. Power on with the remote or key controller. Be sure the TV has powered on so the update will automatically take place. Allow up to 10 minutes for the update to install. The TV should restart after the update is complete and there should be a message on the screen saying it has been completed. If there is no message on the screen, the TV should at least show an image on the screen meaning that the update has been completed and your TV is working normally. If you insert the USB drive and you receive a message on the screen saying there is no new software available, then you cannot update the firmware as your firmware is already up to date.